What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Real Reefing TV and today I thought it'd be a good idea to do an update on the 10 gallon uh, nano reef tank for you guys. Tell you what I've bought, where we're at right now, what's coming up in the near future and at the end I'm going to need your help on the next piece of equipment that's going to help power this innovative Marine Nouveau 10. So a few things I purchased. I went on to MarineDepot.com and um, purchased the AI Prime HD light with the lighting bracket to go over top of the innovative Marine Nouveau 10 uh, Fusion. I don't know why the name is so long. Anyways, um, we're just gonna call it the Nano. How about that? So the light, I bought the light and the, and the bracket to go over top of the Nano. Also bought this sweet piece of tech that is the auto, uh, what, is, what is it? The auto aqua um, automatic water change uh, system, which is pretty sweet. So it does automatic water changes for you as well as maintains your auto top off using optical sensors. And that's way better than any sort of flow because uh, because floats can are mechanical and can fail. These are going on the tank as well as I bought uh, three uh, filter socks to go along with the one that came with the tank. So now I have, oh God. Whoop. All right, so now I have four total filter socks that I can rotate through the tank through the tank. And that way I don't have to be you know, washing filter socks constantly. I can just do them all at once and, um, and save myself a lot of time. We'll be doing full reviews on these, um, how to set them up and how I like them, what I don't like about them. And uh, we'll do all of that in future episodes. This one is just an update to give you guys an idea of where we're at and where we're going forward because we need to get this thing set up. I've had it sitting on my desk for way too long now. Um, and as you can see, I kind of got a little bit excited and, um, and put the light on the tank. But I will show you a couple of things about putting the tank or putting the light on the tank. So you'll check that out right now. Oh. <laughs> to do next. I think the next thing I'm going to do is start uh, curing the rock that's going to go in this tank. I've got about 30 pounds or so of uh, Haitian and Pecani and Fiji rock, kind of a mixture of the three, sitting outside on my back patio. So it's completely dry and dead, but what we need to do is we need to cure it. And I think what I'm going to do for the cure is a bleach um, bath on it and uh, really just kill all the organics living in and on it. Um, and, then, uh, and then it'll be ready to go in here and start curing. And maybe I'll use some bacteria in a bottle or something like that. I also need to figure out what I'm gonna do for my auto top off container. I know this auto water change and auto top off system does that for me, but I still have to have a container to have my uh, fresh water, my salt water, and my um, and, and a waste container for the for the old salt water that's going to be coming out of the tank. That way, it can all run for me, and I don't have to uh, you know haul any sort of buckets every time I want to do a water change. So I have to figure out a way to make a container and conceal it so that it doesn't. It's not sore to the eye, you know? And it will blend into the rest of the decor in the office. Once I get all the rock cured, then I need to get it aquascaped, which is probably one of my favorite things to do when setting up a, like an aquarium, um, is aquascaping. It's something about like the art form of it, and just, you know, like taking a space 
and knowing that this is what your fish are going to be swimming around, this is what you are going to um, have to be able to place coral, so it's a vital piece of what you're doing when you're setting it up, and I think that it's probably the funnest part of setting up a saltwater tank. Then it's a matter of getting it, getting water in it and getting it cycling, getting the pumps running and everything like that. Now, on the to buy list, I'm going to need to buy a heater for this. I still haven't done that yet. I'm thinking about the Neotherm uh, heater, which is kind of a plastic heater, so there's no glass to break or anything like that. It's all self-contained with inside of the plastic heater itself. Uh, but I'm super open to suggestions. Please leave those in the comments below what heater you guys use and how it does keeping your temperature very stable. Another thing that I need to buy is something for flow in here. And so I really want your guys' suggestions down in the comments below. Tell me what, uh, what, what power head are you using on your Nuvo tank. That's it guys, that's the update. Keep an eye out for another video coming out very soon um, where I'm gonna go ahead and get this light all set up and, um, and rocking and rolling and show you how all the neat features with it and how I don't even need a controller to control the light. I'm gonna be able to do it all right from my phone. So super excited about that. Keep an eye out for future videos. Stay salty, keep it real y'all. Peace.